Hey folks, I thought I'd try to make a video uh, about something I haven't seen repaired too much and plenty of people have repaired floppies before but this is a PS2 Model 50 and these are proprietary of course being IBM they're a little different than a regular one and they're notorious for not working uh, so what I thought I'd do would be to show you how I fixed one because this one works this one that I bought as a spare, it doesn't. It does the same thing that one did. I'll show you. All right, it's a good boot. Had no problems whatsoever on the uh, on the reference disc yet for IBM PS2s. So I'll turn this off. I'll show you what this one does and what the other one did. See? Nothing. Now it should have booted from the disk, so it defaulted to the C drive since A drive didn't work. This one should have booted on this disk though. This will not read a disk. So, let's find out why. Okay, on the other one, it was two surface mount capacitors. And I have a feeling, with any luck, it'll be the same problem with this one. I got this one actually hoping that this one would work when mine didn't before I knew how to repair it. But by the time I got it I realized chances are it wouldn't work and it didn't. But that's okay. I fixed the one I had. And let's see we can fix this one. You gotta watch out, it's got these two little flexible cables. You gotta pull them out of their sockets carefully to even tip this board over. Now, let me see if I can switch some lenses around so you can get a closer look at this. Now, folks, forgive me for the shakiness, but I've attached I don't have a mantis, so I'm trying to let you see what I see. Now here's the electrolytic surface mount capacitors. Now here's one thing I want you to see. Now take a look at all the solder joints of everything around here. Nice and shiny. Everything's good. Sorry for any blurriness. I'm doing this focusing manually. This capacitor, the the uh, solder feet look good. The capacitor looks good. There's three of them on this board. Here's the other one. Sorry. Notice the solder pads are shiny. The 
capacitor itself. Looks good. Now we have a third one. I'll take a look at this one. See if you notice anything. Take a look at those solder pads. It's hard to see really. It's almost what you don't see. You don't see any shininess to the pads. Sorry, it's about the best I can do with this. See that? Those pads aren't shiny. They're damaged by corrosion. There we go. That's about the best I can do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace that one and see see if that right there might do the trick. The other two seem okay. Now I don't have any surface mounts so I'm going to replace it with a standard electrolytic but it'll be small enough where I can lay it down and put it on there because I've already done it before. So hold on. Okay. I'm going to try to keep this in focus for you so you can see what I'm doing. The last one I was pretty rough with. The solder on these boards doesn't want to come off, I'm telling you. I'm going to put a little flux there, see if I can get that to help me at all. There we go. See if I can get this off. See, I tell you, this thing is not happy about coming off. don't want to damage the board. I need those pads to put the leads on for the new one. Yeah, it's like trying to pull a tooth. That solder just does not want to melt on here. Let's see if I can put in some fresh and see if that'll help. damaged one of the pads that I need for the new capacitor so I'm gonna have to connect it to something else that's on the 5 volt rail and that's okay Let's see if I can get this without a mess Oops, that's definitely wrong. I know, this is not exactly the neatest bit of work, but if it works, it doesn't have to be neat, nobody will see it. All it has to do is work.
think it's attached. It looks as the old magnifying glass. Make sure there isn't any shortages to any place else. Okay, it's attached to that leg of that resistor. Good deal. I'm gonna. It's not connected. It is not shorted to that transistor. Let me add just a bit to the other leg now that I know that it's solid. Probably gonna go. Good lord, what? That guy's the biggest slob in the world. And you might be right. <laughs> but, with any luck, it'll work. Okay. I think we have it. Let's see what happens. Alright folks, I had to go back in and change all three capacitors. Hopefully, that solves the problem. But you're going to find out with me. As soon as I remember where I put the disc. Sounds good. And there we go. Not bad. Well, I've got some other projects coming up that I hope you'll join me for. Uh, most of them are quite a lot bigger than this. And uh, I'll see you soon.